My interest in audio started when I was about eight years old and I saw Star Wars. I saw a guy with a guitar rocking out on stage. I was a musician in high school, I played violin. First was inspired by the Final Fantasy soundtracks. What got me into recording was the technical side of it. I had an interest in um, production of live music events. A friend of mine on a field trip uh, played me a Nirvana song and I had never heard of Nirvana before. Since I was living in DC at the time, AU was such a great fit. It's an extremely beautiful, vibrant culture. DC is a great place to be for music. For the master's program, we have two tracks, essentially. We have a studio track and computer sound synthesis. So I'll be working with grad students on things like new interfaces for controlling and manipulating sounds performing new digital musical instruments, as well as uh, giving them the basics of programming with audio. One of the things I think that's really great about this program is that you're able to customize the degrees. Someone could be doing sound design, while someone else in the program could be learning how to make their own microphone. Classes will be at night, so it gives me the flexibility to still maintain my, my professional career. It's the first time, at least in my life, that I've been more than comfortable, um, you know, just sitting down and being like, all right, what do we got to learn today? The facility here at AU is outstanding. I mean, the recording studio here was designed by the guy who did Electric Lady Studios. That's a one-of-a-kind thing. I could go in there at night and kind of learn on the gear and um, record bands. You literally get to be involved with the recording process from setup to tear down. For a creative person, it's a dream. You can do whatever you want. Collaboration between students and between faculty elevates the learning environment. Within the first three or four weeks, we start bringing in guests such as Joe Kennedy, who is the CEO of Pandora. A couple years ago, Ben Burt, who was the person who created the R2-D2 sounds, came in as a guest lecturer and is a frequent guest here. Thanks to AU, I've had internships at Yoshitoshi, The Cutting Room, and 88DC. I was able to help out with the recording that Ben Burt did at the Congressional Hall. I just finished up four songs on the new Madonna album. I'm a mixer at Bionic Media in New York City. I'm an audio engineer and producer and songwriter. I'm a freelance audio engineer and the chief engineer of the Cutting Room Studios here in New York City. I always like to go back, you know, every few months or so when I can and uh, speak to the students and kind of get a sense of how the program is growing and what people are working on. I know every alumni that has ever come by here. Seeing your friend go out play a show at the 930 Club makes you want to go out and do the same thing. That overall family is something that no other school can touch as far as getting a degree here, getting a job, and staying in touch, and always staying on top of our field. Being in audio means you can play in worlds in music and, and film and, and technology and, and science, and you can sort of live in all these different places. There's really no end to what you can do with a degree in audio. I would say come and visit us. Um, Come and visit and talk and uh, sit in on a session. If anyone is interested in a tour, we're always available to give tours. 